All right, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Let's get into John Bones Jones versus Jan Blahovic. Jan, of course, won the UFC light heavyweight vacant title left behind by John Jones. John wants to move up to heavyweight, challenge himself there. So it left an opening for Dominic Reyes and Jan Blahovic to fight for the title. Jan won the title in spectacular fashion, then expressed interest in a post-fight interview to fight John Jones. John and Jan had a little back and forth. Who knows? It might happen. It may not. But let's get into it anyway. All right. So first, let's start with Jan Blahovic. Jan is a very competent striker, very dangerous on the feet, heavy handed, very good Muay Thai. He also has a dangerous ground game, very well versed on the ground. So pretty much Jan has finishing ability standing and on the ground. I think he has a high fight IQ. He's tough. He's durable. He's big and strong, definitely a force, and that's kind of evident. He is the light heavyweight champ right now. Jan is currently on a four fight win streak. He's 37 years old, no spring chicken, but he really hasn't showed any signs of slowing down. John Bones Jones. I mean, there's so much to be said about John. Regarded probably by most as the greatest fighter of all time, certainly in the light heavyweight division. John has a stellar record, 26 wins, one loss. That loss was via disqualification, certainly a debatable loss. He was easily handling Matt Hamill, so he's pretty much undefeated for the most part. John is as well-rounded as they come. Is there anybody out there who has a higher fight IQ than John Jones? He's a fighter that can beat you at your strengths, and if he can't, he will beat you at your weaknesses. John right now is 33 years old. I would say personally, he's still within those prime years. So how would a fight between Jan Blahovic and John Jones possibly play out in that UFC cage? Well, I for sure think that Jan is a credible threat. I will say that he can finish Jones. In this sport, anything can happen. These are big guys. You move one inch the wrong way, you're gonna get knocked out. You leave your neck out there, you're going to get choked out. That's the nature of the sport. But for the most part, the more skilled fighter wins. So in this fight, guys, not gonna lie, just gonna be straight. 100% without a doubt, I would favor John Jones. And that's based on his career, his performances, his accomplishments as a fighter. Style wise, I think it's a great fight. Jones has some pretty crazy reach and he knows how to use it. I think he would avoid the big shots from Jan. I think Jones is quicker than Blahovich, better footwork, just an overall quicker athlete. And that would definitely help him in this fight with avoiding shots, with landing himself. But a lot of people thought that Reyes was going to be too quick for Blahovic, And that's including myself. And we all saw how that turned out. Jan should definitely not be underestimated. On the ground, I can see John handling himself just fine. Taking top position, using that wrestling, avoiding the subs, landing ground and pound. But I think the more time it spends on the ground, of course you're giving Blahovic more chances to snag something. But John's jujitsu is pretty good. It's really, really solid. Great submission defense. He has subs of his own. So I really think he'll be fine on the ground. I think the wrestling is going to be the biggest factor and it's going to keep John in the top position. Not to mention he's very strong and imposing. I'm not quite sure how much of this fight will play out on the ground. I personally think this would be a striking battle and I could envision John winning a decision. If Blahovic were to win on the feet, I could see a knockout because he's very heavy handed and he has some pretty damn good Muay Thai. His kicks as well, brutal. Leg kicks, body kicks. We saw the damage he inflicted on Reyes from just a couple of kicks. Just completely bruised up his midsection from like two kicks. It was wild. Thiago Santos kind of has a similar style to Blahovic. I don't think his setups are as good. He's a little bit more explosive relies more on his explosiveness and athleticism but his Muay Thai is great and we saw how well he did against John Jones. Those leg kicks especially were really effective. I would expect Vlahovic to follow a similar game plan and if he does I think he would have success against Jones but ultimately I think John's craftiness, his experience, his ability to overcome, of course his skill would grant him the W in this fight. I think John's too smart to get caught with a big shot. His answer to the leg kicks, if he learned from the Santos fight, would probably be to catch a leg, take Blahovic down, land ground a pound, soften him up a bit, and just keep repeating that sequence if it gets a little dicey on the feet. Also, John's clinch work, amazing. He just leans on you, tugs on your neck, saps your energy, lands sneaky elbows. He has chokes in a standing position. We saw that against Machida. 
yeah, I think John's overall skill set would win him this fight. But by no means would I count Jan Blahovic out. I'm just favoring John Jones because I can't underestimate that man again. But ultimately, yes, my pick is John Jones to win this fight. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this quick breakdown. We'll love to hear your thoughts. Be as detailed as you like. Who do you think would win this fight at light heavyweight, John Jones or Jan Blahovic? Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it and this is your first time at the channel, consider subscribing, like, and share. Appreciate you guys. And until the next one, my friends, you all take care.